fashion at a glance, a look through the lens of the world of fashion. I'm Zakia, your host for the series, and each week we're taking you on a different journey into the exciting world of fashion. This week, we're going inside the world-famous Fashion Institute of Technology in New York City for the launch of the Cosmo Girl Born to Lean Design Search. Sit tight as we get the inside scoop from the students on what inspires them and what it takes to make it in the world of fashion. What excites me the most about the contest is having a spread on the Cosmo Girl magazine because I know a lot of people read that magazine. I do. I could see it launching my career. To have that opportunity, it's indescribable. It's very big. Get me started with money wise because, of course, I'm a student and I have no money. Yeah, I'm thinking to start my own business if I have $10,000. I'd buy a Prada bag. No, <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Everyone produces a little differently, everyone has their process and part of this is for them to find out their best way of working, how they work. Some work with several pieces simultaneously, some people do something from beginning to end, they're very linear. I, I work actually kind of like a machine, I have to have all aspects of the process figured out and essentially programmed and I do that right at the end. My specialization is tailoring. My specialization is sportswear. Well, I'm knitwear specialization, which means that we start from scratch. We start from yarns and we create our fabric, we create our designs, our silhouettes. I'm a very girly girl, so I like to use feminine details, such as roses. My theme centers around the idea of enchantment, a little bit whimsical. I got inspired by sort of fairy tales and the idea of a fairy. Finding elements of futurism in the past is something that's always been an ongoing theme in my work. B&J Fabrics is a very well-known fabric store among the fashion industry. Going there is kind of like a nice stress-free day because everything there is so organized, the staff there is so knowledgeable. The materials there are quality materials. This one's it. Uh, this is Martin Esquerdo Studios, where I do my internship. Uh, and this is where I also do my collection. This piece has been around for over 30 years. Pretty much they built a set design, costume design. Uh, a lot of the, the work they do here is very avant-garde. I get a lot of inspiration here, a lot of hands-on. Uh, we are in uh, Botani. Come here all the time. It's my favorite pattern store. It's very inspiring. I get my inspiration from not only things that I can visually see, but also what I feel. So these are made out of shells? Yes, those are okay. shells. Thank you so much. Sure, no I am very nervous, I'm anxious, I'm stressed. All these emotions just all in one big ball in my stomach. <laughs> I hope I have a good chance because um, I think I'm very good at it, what I do. Deep inside somewhere, I think I deserve to be one of the finalists because I put the best of my work forward. This competition sounds like it's going to be intense and next week the contest really heats up. We'll hear what the judges have to say and go behind the scenes at the exciting FIT Fashion Show. This week's episode is brought to you by Cosmo Girl. Necessary Objects. The Fashion Institute of Technology. Macy's. Samsung. Nair Pretty. 